For part A, we want to show that this equation here can be rewritten in this form. So I'm going to start off by writing this out. So 4 cos theta minus 1, that's equal to 2 sine theta. And the tan, we can rewrite as sine theta over cos theta. So then the right-hand side then becomes, so sine times sine is sine squared. So 2 sine squared theta all over cos theta. And then I'm going to multiply both sides by cos theta. The left-hand side then becomes 4 cos squared theta minus cos theta is equal to 2 sine squared theta. And then I can use the identity sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is 1. Therefore, sine squared theta is 1 minus cos squared theta. Oh, and because this is an identity, we can use the triple equal sign. So if sine squared theta is then equal to 1 minus cos squared theta, we can replace the sine squared theta that we have here with 1 minus cos squared theta. So our equation then becomes 4 cos squared theta minus cos theta is equal to 2 times 1 minus cos squared theta. Expand this out. 2 minus 2 cos squared theta. Okay, so we want to have 6 cos squared theta, so positive 6. So then I will bring this minus 2 cos squared theta to the left-hand side. So I'll bring everything on the right-hand side, bring it all to the left-hand side. So subtract, subtract this from both sides. And we end up with 4 cos squared theta plus 2 cos squared theta minus cos theta minus 2, which is then oh, equal to 0, which is then 6 cos squared theta minus cos theta minus 2 is equal to 0. And that's part A done. And now for part B. So solve this equation. And the key word here is actually, which I didn't say, is hence. Hence solve this equation. So I find that a lot of my students when doing these kinds of questions would often ignore what happens in the previous part when they see a hence question. So hence means you want to think about what's happened in the previous part. So then let's write out the equation that we have first. So 4 cos 3x minus 1 is equal to 2 sine 3x tan 3x. So this, what we have here, looks very similar to what we have here. Those two things are basically the same. The only difference is that theta has been replaced with 3x. So we could say, let theta equal 3x, and then this equation becomes 4 cos theta minus 1 is equal to 2 sine theta tan theta. So then what we have here is exactly equal to what we have there. And that means that this equation can be rewritten in this form. So then we can say that this equation is then 6 cos squared theta minus cos theta minus 2 is equal to 0. So if we solve this equation here, we then get the solutions to this. We'd have to bear in mind that theta is equal to 3x. So once we've solved for theta, we then need to rearrange to solve for x. Let's deal with it in terms of theta for now. That, that will be a bit easier. We know from the question that our domain is 0 to 90. So x is between 0 and 90. We have theta in our equation. Theta is equal to 3x. So we want to get our domain in terms of theta. So I'm going to multiply everything by 3. So this becomes 0 is less than or equal to 3x, which is less than 270. 3x is the same thing as theta. So then we can say that theta is between 0 and 270. So we now solve this equation in this domain. Once we've done that, we can convert back to x. So this is a quadratic. And if you were to type this into your calculator, so your a for the quadratic would be 6, your b would be minus 1, your c would be minus 2. Put this into your quadratic equation solver, and you end up with 
cos theta is equal to 2 over 3, and you end up with cos theta is equal to minus a half. So those are the two solutions for our quadratic. So then we can say, well, now we want to solve for theta. So if I were to do inverse cos of 2 over 3, that gives me 48.19 degrees. So then we want to think about, are there any other angles in this domain between 0 and 270? So if I draw a cos graph, very rough sketch, this is what it looks like, where this is 360. So 48 is here somewhere. So another solution between 0 and 360 would be over here. But 270 is over here. So this solution would be past 270, and therefore we wouldn't be considering it. So in between the domain of 0 to 270, this would be the only solution for theta. Now let's look at the, uh, the minus a half. So if we were to do inverse cos of minus a half, this gives us theta is equal to 120. So 120, this is 90. 120 would be over here somewhere. So this would be minus a half. This would be 120 degrees. So the next angle would be over there. And if we use the symmetry of this graph, the other angle would then be 360 degrees minus 120, which is 240 degrees. So this here would be 240. So those are our two angles in the domain of 0 to 270 that we get from cos theta is equal to minus a half. That's what theta is equal to, but theta is equal to 3x, and therefore x is equal to theta divided by 3. So divide each of these by 3, and we get our answers. Now it says in the question that we want our answers to one decimal place, so I'm going to round my answers to 1 dp. So 48.19 divided by 3 gives me 16.1 degrees. These two divided by 3 give me 40 and 80. And those will be the final answers.